they were just so excited that they couldn't stop talking. Martha Douglas Johansson walked her seven year old grandchildren, boy girl twins, down the halls at Anschutz Hospital to see their mother. It was a wonderful reunion for them. Um, but difficult because she doesn't look like mom right now. The last time they saw her, they were in the back seat of her car, ducking down in their seats, not knowing if they too were going to get shot by their dad, according to this affidavit. The day of the incident, the day of the, I mean, how do you even refer to something like that? It was chaos. <laughs> Martha says her daughter Nikki and the twins left her house to run to the store. I heard a shot and then I heard another one and it seemed odd and so I stood up and I could see out the window. Martha says she looked out to see Brandon Allen, the children's father, standing in her driveway with a gun. Police say it was the seven-year-old boy who yelled to the neighbor to call for help. They wake up sometimes at night with a bad dream or they just tell me how sad they are, they miss mom. I know it will be something they will remember for the rest of their lives. Allen ended up calling 911 on himself, admitting he fired the gun. Allen is currently in the Boulder County Jail, facing charges for attempted murder and child abuse, among others. Nikki is now recovering from the two gunshot wounds to her neck and thigh. We're hoping that she can be transferred closer to home, but I don't know any of her disabilities that she will have, what her future of recovery will look like. As Martha navigates the unknown, there's one thing she knows for sure. That no matter what, we will get through it and life will go on, no matter what.